while we're speaking, would you mind giving do you mind giving a market sentiment on how you feel the next year and a half year will go within the, within the market if you're if you can if you're comfortable doing so? I mean, I mean the bear market would be over now, but these idiots instead of letting the normal micro market cycle bluff top play out, they went and got leveraged up and bought another double top. So now they have to get washed out, and they delayed the market bottom by six months. Mm-hmm. So hold the chart up. Huh? <laughs> they fall more yeah, in they, their own bag. Right, they 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 bought a double top with their entire stack, so now they're getting all liquidated and and delayed the bear market bottom. The problem is like my normal eighty five percent drop call, which I'm just calling conservative, the eleven k mathematically, I think it's ten six fifty. It uh, it 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 could be invalidated by the Fed just increasing uh, the cost of dollars. So is the, the Fed increasing outside factors? You're talking about those those outside factors you don't see on the chart. Exactly. So, like, they don't understand. Like, when you look at a Bitcoin chart, you're looking at Bitcoin versus dollar. That means that the value of the dollar actually has its own effect on the chart. And so, we've always had Bitcoin in a macro where the printing was is as high as it's ever been, and the interest rates were as low as they've ever been, and the money was the cheapest it could ever be, which drove asset prices all very high. Now that they're doing monetary contraction and reducing the money supply, the uh, and even the you know the EU just raised its interest rate for the first time in eleven years yesterday, point five half yep. percent I think. Yeah, it fifty? It might have just been fifty basis points. Yep. It might have also been half a percent. It was one of those two. They are a hundred x different, so or ten x different. Um, so like the the issue is that your normal eighty five percent dump might go deeper because the value of the money has gotten more expensive. So, so basically correlated to interest rates, which means for the idiots that are listening that don't know what inversely correlated means, it just means that when interest rates go up because the Fed raises it, the guys that aren't elected, the guys that just – the private company called the Federal Reserve, that's a private company, when it raises the rates, um, then the stock market goes down. And when the stock market goes down, consumer spending on rich people stuff goes down. So that's the watch top. I called the top and watches as well as crypto. Are you I was right on that a, too? Are you saying this is a first in crypto because of you know nine? This is yeah. the first time the government is That's actually right. okay. Yep, so that makes and sense. So now, now that money is for the first time getting more expensive relative to how where it was six months ago, you know, so lumber's down like thirty percent, watches are down twenty five percent. I think Amazon's down maybe half, maybe maybe thirty forty percent. Um. And I think that even like it gave back all of its COVID gains. I think I, I didn't. I don't have the chart in front of me right now, but I, I think that's my last recollection of it. And so basically, you can get a lower than eighty-five percent tar- target, and let's have a bull run in, in Bitcoin until that thirty percent discount on grayscale Bitcoin goes away. What entity would be given the option to buy grayscale Bitcoin at a thirty percent discount, which is getting the same? It's like getting a fifty percent bonus. 33% discount equals 50% bonus. Um, and then it also trades at a premium when it does go up, usually trades at like a 20% premium. And, Why and, wouldn't and, you buy at a third off and get a 20% premium later? Until that goes away, you're not ever getting a bull run. So, so it's not break, happening. Let, let's break. They've already purchased their Bitcoin, right? Yep. So you can go essentially have influence on that without even impacting OTC markets yes. at all. So you can go buy grayscale fake encapsulated Bitcoin, which you can't redeem, but historically has traded at a premium. Um, you can go buy that for a third off and just wait till it gets its premium back on the bull, if it ever does. I mean, the the the, uh, the exchange traded funds might might eliminate that uh, that premium, and they're trying to become an ETF themselves. Um, I'm not exactly sure what their angle is on that, why they want to do that as a company, but like, they, they charge 2% a year on that, so they just... They, they own 3% of all the Bitcoin and they charge a 2% a year holding fee. And then like they make $600 million a year or something, just like free and clear, like net. It's wildly, wildly, wildly profitable business. <clears throat> so yeah, like uh, until that discount goes away, you're not going to get a bull run. I think these are just dead cat bounces. 100%. So yay, yay. Like, bottom, well, FTX came in and bailed everybody out. 
but didn't really build them out, and they're probably probably unwinding their position by like. So they got the theory on FTX kind of buying the bottom was <clears throat> they bought some lenders staked ETH at a fifteen percent discount, and then they probably dumped that stake ETH OTC, but had to short to cover it, short normal spot ETH to cover it, so they pushed the price down. But once they were able to dump their staked ETH on OTC, then they had to unwind their short position. And so, like, literally, the theory is that this dead cat bounce you see here is essentially recovering the staked ETH that they bought. Sounds like a valid position to me. And then there's other open issues, like, you know, when are the Gox coins coming out? And are the Finex 70K going to be sold? Or are they going to be given back to Finex? And is Ross Ulbricht's coins going to be sold by the government, which apparently they are, and how many of those are there? And is Sailor actually going to get, you know, how much leverage did he take on? Is he going to get liquidated? Right is he going to have to sell? Yeah. I think yeah, I and this is, this is just in the top of the normal market cycle. And how many have been bankrupted yet, apparently? Well, will they be? And what about KuCoin? I hear KuCoin was has huge Luna exposure. Huge. Mm -hmm. I hear they're bankrupt behind the scenes too. And then what? Yeah. And if they have to like try and cover people's withdrawals, how much are they going to have to sell to do it? It's like, I, I just I think there's a whole ton of leverage that still needs washed out. And I just you know you'll be lucky. My my saying is 11k and pray. So if the if the, bull, if the bear stops at 11k, be happy. But until I, I, I see I, that, I, until I see that premium dis, the discount disappear. I would love to hear the rest of the panel. I mean, guys, I'm not gonna put this off. I'm gonna put this this forth. Um, Tech and I are not gonna call. We're not gonna raise hands.